Today we're taking a look at Imaginomics Portraiture 2 software plugin for Photoshop and I'm going to do that by using one of my own images within Photoshop. The software itself is designed to speed up the process of portrait retouching uh, and this is an untouched uh, image processed to a TIFF straight from the raw file that we'll be working on today. Now the Portraiture 2 plugin uh, is within the filters menu of uh, CS3 uh, as we have uh, here on screen and we'll open that up by going to the filters menu down to Imaginomic and then across to Portraiture which will bring up the software into its own box and allow us to make skin tone and skin texture retouching changes and enhancements to the original image. It's a powerful tool um, and allows uh, the photographer quite a lot of control over the changes that have been made in a real-time scenario. So here we go, we'll just click to get that open and if we give that a second to just uh, do its thing. The software opens up within its own box and we start to make amendments and changes uh, from the off based on the settings that are already in there. As you can see, uh, we're in a split screen view. We have the controls on the left hand side of the screen with detail smoothing, the skin tones, mask and the enhancements. We have a navigator in the bottom right hand side and we have the ability to either have a fast preview or an accurate preview uh, at the top of the screen there. We'll click on to the fast preview which is actually already selected here and just to speed up the process of running through this. The main feature of Portraiture 2 is the masking tool and the masking abilities of this software which creates automatically a skin tones mask from within the software that you can apply enhancements and changes to to really speed up the process of your own retouching. The enhancements box controls softness, warmth, tint, brightness, contrast and obviously sharpness as well and the skin tones mask box is really where we make final uh, adjustments to the skin tones mask to ensure that we're not affecting parts of the image which we wish to leave untouched. I'm going to start with the eyedropper tool which is a pick mask colour and go over uh, the image to start creating our skin tones mask. As you can see a mask preview box has opened up in the right hand side of the screen now and as soon as I start to pass that eyedropper tool over the skin tones within the shot uh, we will start to see exactly which areas will be affected based on the current skin tones mask setting in the mask preview box and I need to select a point initially uh, which is a reference